watching for bears. Oh, oh, oh. None. Okay, we're good. We're good. Bears yeah. don't even like whiskey. I hope not. We're at the mobile satellite office. <laughs> you know, the woods. Yeah. With our crate and full bottles of whiskey that we bring everywhere. On location with the Macallan Rare Cask. Yeah, pretty excited actually. <sighs> because I have a certain feel about Macallan lots of times. And uh, that's price versus quality is not always what you would hope for. Mm -hmm. Not always, but there are exceptions. Rare exceptions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so um, I think we should nose it. I think we should taste it. I think we should talk about price versus quality. Well, let me read what we're going to be drinking first. Cool. I'll nose it. You do that. So the Macallan Rare Cask. What a box, too. What a packaging. Yeah. Beauty package, beauty bottle. Oh, yeah. Everything about this it. This is an older one, too. Older batch has been around for a couple years. There's new ones, new design boxes and stuff too. Well, we've got the Macallan is delighted to present Rare Cask from our 1824 series, which has been created to showcase the beautiful range of natural color found in our whiskeys, each expression becoming increasingly darker and more complex. The interaction of spirit and wood alone delivers the beautiful range of rich natural colors that distinguish the Macallan whiskeys. This rich mahogany red whiskey magnificently showcases two of the Macallan's greatest pillars, sherry seasoned oak casks and natural color. These signature characteristics reinforce our position as one of the world's truly great single malt whiskies. Rare cask has been crafted from only hand-picked Spanish sherry seasoned oak casks, some of the most precious and scarce in single malt whiskey, with an exceptionally high proportion of them being first fill. The Macallan's wood policy is unrivaled and in this commitment to sourcing the industry's finest, most expensive and exclusive casks that have given rise to rare cask, an exquisite whiskey with a splendidly rich and resonant hue. Boom! Oh. I've been nosing this. Yeah. And I've been loving it. Yeah. <sighs> yep. Super rich. That's only like what, 43%. <sighs> yeah, it sits 46. low. 46. 43. Mm. I just heard an animal. Did you hear that? I did. I think we'll be okay. We'll fight them off. Maybe it's a rabbit. Maybe, maybe we, we'll cook some dinner. Maybe we could bribe them to not eat us with the McAllen. Ah, uh, maybe. This is lovely. Super lovely, yeah. Sherry, 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 spicy Spanish oak. Beauty, shall we? It is a beautiful color too. We shall. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. Yep. I like that a lot. Ooh. It's a little bit bitter on the beginning, but uh, turns to beautiful sherry, woodsy spice. Oh, yeah, like lemon and vanilla. Oh, wow. Interesting. I get none of that uh, at all. To me, that's kind of bright and sharp flavors. So it's very interesting. Very interesting to hear you say that. Oh. Yeah. This is great. This, this is delightful. Is lovely. Now, this would have been likely locked in a glass cabinet. Almost definitely. Yeah. You'd have to, hey guy. Yeah. Get my key, please. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, it's it's fairly expensive, rare cask. I would like to see a higher ABV version for that price. And then I would say probably worth it. I haven't tasted it, of course, but it's a little bit uh, expensive with that low ABV, but honestly. How low? Did you say it is 43? Because it tastes a little higher. I was going to say, it drinks higher. No, it is. Same what it tastes, or than what it says. It yeah. tastes almost like a 46, 48. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that 100%. 46, 48, for sure. Oh. Mm. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, me too. Wow. Mm. Wow. Worth picking up a bottle? At retail price, perhaps. If it's within your budget, something you want to splurge. Again, it's locked in a glass case, folks. It's up there. Uh, you can buy, you know, four or five uh, moderately priced single malts for this. And it's great. A little chocolatey. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. It's great. It's great. But again, it's hard to uh, splurge on something like this uh, because of that price, right? 
Yeah. Yeah. It's very, it's very difficult. This could, this could, uh, you know, this could break the bank a little bit for. Yeah, you have to sacrifice sometimes uh, uh, several other bottles that you're interested in. But if that's what you're doing, that's what, that's what I recommend. That's what I would do. Back when I first started collecting, I would stick to the cheap stuff because that's what my budget allowed. Now, instead of buying, you know, four or five one hundred dollar bottles, I may not buy any. And Save then up. Splurge and buy something like this after I had enough. You know there what I mean? There you go. Yeah. So wow. that, that's what I would recommend. Or go in on it with your buddies or something. But it's worth a pickup. It's worth a taste for sure. I agree. Yeah. Well, cheers to you. Cheers. Cheers to the McAllen and cheers to you heathens. Cheers, y'all.